Hi, it's Mary Jo McCauley with AngelsTalk.com, and I am here with the January 2021 Angels Outlook. Happy New Year! <laughs> and aren't we glad to say goodbye to 2020? What a pivotal, challenging year last year was. But lots of growth, lots of growth opportunities for everybody. So I am really excited about today's reading because they've already told me I'm going to do the basic reading. But I'm also, when I'm finished with the basic reading for the month, I am going to give more information that they have given me about this whole coming year. Ah. So having said that, five cards. I just asked them how many cards and they said five cards. Okay. I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to put his veil of protection around us. And I've already blessed the cards, removed all of that yuck on them, released all the stuff I didn't need on, and blessed the cards. And now I just pick. They just, they already told me, you don't pick anything. We pick them. <laughs> okay, five. I got it. Okay, fine. Didn't have any jumping cards this time. Let's see what we got. Okay, January. First card is morning affirmations. Say positive affirmations to open up the gates for manifestation this month. Start off your day with positive affirmations. Uh, any kind of positive affirmations. If you don't know how to do it or whatever, I strongly suggest that you get a daily uh, notes from the universe by TUT, T-U-T. You can just Google notes from the universe or T-U-T notes from the universe. And it is a great way to start off your day. It's not a whole bunch of stuff you got to do. It's a quick read. You know, they're usually about a paragraph. Sometimes it's just a couple sentences, but it is a great way to start your day. Start your day with, an, your, with your affirmations so that you can get open up the gates of manifestation for you, okay? Also, realize we don't do everything as an island. Even though we have been socially distancing, there are help, there's a helpful person out there for you. Someone who really wants to help you, okay? They're out there. Now think of whom that might be. And then you initiate the contact. It can be anybody. Who, who is it? What is it that you really want to do? And there is someone out there. If you don't have any idea, just be open to possibly meeting them in any way possible. I was going to say, we don't have the same ways to go out and socially interact with people at the moment, but maybe even on Zoom or other things. So there is a helpful person out there. Boom. Because if you do that, the third card is yes. Your intention is correct. Your intuition is correct. Now just take action. If you are know you are on the correct way, you're doing what's right, you can't sit on the couch and go, Oh, yeah, I really want this. Oh, yeah, I really do. Oh, I guess they'll make it happen for me. you got to take action. If you are going in the wrong direction, they will change your footsteps to go in the correct direction. But you have to take action. And then fourth is mother healing. And I don't think this is just about your feelings towards your mother and it could be, but I don't think it's just about feelings towards your mother or healing your relationship. Just I think it's with Mother Earth. We are doing tremendous things right now. And that's part of my yearly thing I'm going to talk about. Mother healing. And I get this more as, and they're saying I got that. Thank you. They give me uh, goosebumps. You ever get them on your arms? I get them on my legs. Mother healing. So we are going to be healing planet earth mother earth so that's great and finally a soulmate relationship now again this could be a spiritual romance 
but not necessarily. A soulmate is one that helps your soul to grow. And there are a lot of people out there that you don't necessarily have to have a romantic relationship. But if you are in a relationship, ask for it to become even more than what it is now. Ask the angels to bring it in and really develop it more fully for you. So say the morning affirmations. Get notes from the universe. <laughs> Uh, open your eyes to find the helpful person and say, yes, your intuition is on target. And we're going to be healing Mother Earth. And there's a soulmate relationship that has to do with beyond the helpful person for you. Okay, that's for January. But as I said, they told me to give you a little bit more about the rest of the year. So in a nutshell, back in 2019, which seems like a lifetime ago, in October of 2019, the angels told me that there was going to be a major shift of energy. You know, we've gotten a lot of them, but a major shift in the coming year, particularly the beginning of the year. So that would have been the beginning of 2020. They didn't tell me it was going to be a pandemic. <laughs> you know, I'm like, okay, okay. So there, there is a major shift. Every, everybody is feeling, not everybody's feeling it, but everybody is having their energy changed. Even those folks that are not quite at the same, because uh, we're not all at the same energy level. Somebody that's much denser in their energy, that's okay. They're on their path. There's no judgment there. But their energy is changing too. Everybody's energy is changing on this planet. And some of the things that are happening with the pandemic here in America with our crazy election, with the crazy weather all over the planet, everything is changing. And, you know, we signed up to be here, all of us. You signed up to be here at this time. So you are part of the change. And even with the pandemic, I asked them as we started getting into it, March, April, I said, okay, when is it going to end? When is it going to end? And they kept telling me, a Midsummer's Night's Dream. A Midsummer's Night's Dream. I'm like, Shakespeare's play? I'm like, oh, okay, that must mean Midsummer. So when we got to August and September, I said, hey, this isn't Midsummer. You guys lied to me? And they're like, no, 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 we didn't lie. You decided it was going to be this year. But that was your ego jumping in. We didn't say this year. It's like, okay. So what I'm telling you is, is that by mid-summer, I mean, we'll start having a lot of changes and people will be getting vaccines and stuff. And things will start actually looking up in hopefully early spring, April, somewhere around there. But they'll feel a little bit more like normal, although we we'll never want to go back to where we were mid-summer of 2021. So I'm really looking forward to the mid-summer of 2021. And they said, that's not the only reason we told you Midsummer Night's Dream. And I went, oh, think about what that play was about. It was about things not appearing as they truly are. Everything is sort of crazy. Things aren't what they seem. People flip and change and <laughs> fall in love with the wrong people. And stuff. But not saying you're going to fall in love with the wrong people. That's the play. The whole point of the Midsummer Night's Dream is that things aren't what they seem. Don't judge for what's going on because it has to happen this way. The earth needs a major shakeup and they're shaking it up. But the good news is, is that it is all great. The final outcome is a process, but the final outcome is great. And you can make this time fabulous for yourself just by keeping that positive attitude, which is that again, goes back to that first thing affirmations every morning. We, as humans, we typically go to worst case scenarios. That's where our brains are wired. So to keep above that, keep, keep affirmations, positive things in your mind as much as possible. Start off your day with that. Okay. Good news is that 2021 is going to show significant positive change. And it doesn't mean it's all over. It just means it's going to be and things are going to start getting back to a more comfortable level in summer. And 
even the discomfort that we might be going through right now is a good thing. Okay? So know that the angels are there for you at any time. You can call on them at any time. All you have to do is ask. So please do. In the meantime, I'm Mary Jo McCauley with angelstalk.com. And if you have a comment or a question, please put it just below or go to my website, angelstalk.com. And in the meantime, I send you so many blessings, not just for January, but for the entire coming year of 2021. And watch all the things that are going to happen. Don't even just watch. Be a part of all the things that are going to happen this year. Okay? Love you much. See you later. Bye.